A lot for Ramaphosa to handle in the year ahead. South African journalist and host of Power Talk, Aldrin Sampier, joins us now live from Johannesburg to chat more about this. So let's start with what we can glean about President Ramaphosa's 2020 priorities. Well, certainly one of those priorities is trying to create more jobs, trying to create more job opportunities. And the biggest initiative would be the Employment Youth Initiative that he announced. We still don't have any further details with regards to how exactly that initiative would help create jobs. But what we do know is what the President said in his State of the Nation address is that 1% of the budget, which is just over a trillion rand, um, will be used for this Employment Youth Initiative. He lamented the fact that you have oh, nearly 50% of the country's young population workforce that is unemployed, that remains unemployed. And he also spoke about um, the presidential Yes campaign. And the Yes campaign is a presidential initiative that he has come up with to try and ensure that there is job creation, but job creation that specifically targets, um, that specifically targets young people. You just mentioned now the issue around MassMart. And if you look at um, other companies, including the likes of Telcom, you look at the Standard Bank as well, as well as APSA, these are companies that have indicated that they would be slashing jobs. The the president didn't touch a lot on uh, retrenchments in terms of how the government will try and push back against, in, it, against retrenchments, but the issue around ESCOM, of course, was something that really uh, got a lot of focus, and also the unbundling of ESCOM, breaking it down into three spheres where you'd have um, generation capacity as, uh, as well as uh, tr uh, transmission capacity and uh, distribution capacity, all having their own single boards, and some people arguing that if you look at what's currently happening with the um, railway peristatal, which we call here in the country Prasa. Prasa also has a subsidiary. So with ESCOM, ESCOM will also now have these three subsidiaries. But um, with Prasa, for instance, what you'd find there is that the Prasa is struggling because the subsidiaries of Prasa are struggling. Hence, um, there are some employees of these subsidiaries that haven't been paid on time. Now, we also did see quite the disruption during the State of the Nation. How reflective is that, though, of how the president is performing versus, say, this being an isolated outburst? Well, it depends on who you speak to around um, the confidence that uh, the people have in the president. And just ahead of the State of the Nation address, actually the spokesperson of the president, Kusela Pigo, posted a survey that indicated that the popularity of the president stood around 64%. Um, people believe that the president is doing well. But some other people were, were rebutting that, saying that that can't be the case, especially when you look at um, ESCOM, for instance. And right now, even within the ANC and within the tripartite alliance, Alliance and all these drastic measures that the president had announced last year, as well as the finance minister, Dito Mboeni, who said that what um, the country should be looking at is that all of these plus minus 700 state-owned state entities, which ones are the ones that government still needs and which ones are the ones that government should let go of. And you listen to the debate that's currently happening within the ANC, and quite recently, actually, you had the chairperson of the ANC, who's also a minister or secretary in the executive of the president, who came out to say that SAA should be sold off. And this is the state-owned airline here in the country. And on the other end, you have um, the ANC, this is now the party, saying that do not sell off SAA, rather try and stabilize SAA. And the alliance partners of the ANC also making the same argument, saying that rather stabilize SAA. But then on the other end, there you have the finance minister, Dito Mboenu, who's also expressed the same sentiments as the chairperson of the ANC, Greta Mandashe, that there is no need to keep SAA because SAA is currently not profitable. So there is this debate that's happening within the ANC. And what's quite clear as well it is that it is an ideological logical debate. Do you really want the state to play a critical role in terms of unemployment and trying to create a job creation where you also need to speak about the mandates of um, these state-owned enterprises? For instance, if you look at ESCOM, the mandate of ESCOM is to provide electricity and provide electricity security, but ESCOM is failing in that. So what do you do? Do you bring in a private entities to try and steer ESCOM in the right direction? But the announcement from the president um, this evening as well was that what the government would be looking and what government would be looking into is um, private companies also having the self-generation capacity and um, the excess electricity power will then be sold off to ESCOM, including electricity from IPPs.
All right, thank you so much for your insights. We'll have to leave it there. Alvin Sampier there, South African journalist and host of Power Talk.